there's a lot of testing that's going to be going on between now and when Elon said they may be ready for launch, which is in August of 2022, which is next month. And we're like halfway through uh, July now. So August is coming up really fast. And Booster 7's back in the bay getting tested out. See if they have to switch from Booster 7 to Booster 8. See if they just have to replace a couple Raptors. See if they have to replace some stuff inside of Booster 7. But also, uh, we got a ship down at the launch area that needs to be tested. And here we go. Check this out. There's some dates that you have to check out. July 18th, July 19th, July 20th, and July 21st. These are all road closures for... Highway 4, which is the road that goes past Starbase and by Starship. So Highway 4 closed all of these days, July 18th, 19th, 20th. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of this coming week. So that means they're going to be doing some testing. But what kind of testing are they going to be doing? Well, there's another road closure thing coming up here. There's Eddie Trevino Jr. This is the judge um that oh, kind of oversees all this stuff it's ordering a temporary closure of access to boca chica beach and they have to do that they have to close the beach they have to close it down for people that want to go there and hang out take down their coolers take down their six packs of course non-alcoholic six packs and uh bring their sprite and bring they can bring alcohol i don't care i really don't care <laughs> or if they try to go to the beach they're not gonna be able to because judge eddie trevino closes off the beach for these highway four tests spacex is going to be testing and on this you can see it says non-flight testing activity so there's not going to be a flight of any sort of starship anytime soon not in the next week at least that we know of because it's not ready to go yet that's pretty much the reason this has nothing to do with that trevino here it has everything to do with this ship isn't ready to go so starship still needs some testing and elon musk has said hey booster seven it might be busted we're not sure so we'll see what happens with booster seven in the coming days but what could they be doing for the starship the ship itself ship 24. so there's something you can do and that's subscribe to the channel you know why it's because youtube will show you more things about nasa and starship and spacex and the sls the things that you're interested in so if you hit the subscribe button and the like button youtube will know to show you those things also commenting helps too so if you can leave a comment below even if you leave an emoji of a rocket that'll be really helpful not just for me for my channel i mean that definitely helps my channel but it will help your youtube experience as well so thanks everybody they could be doing some cryo tests but probably not i've already gone through all those tests i've already tested them out they have though put on the engines they put on the raptors so there's a possibility that they do a load test uh they could be tanking and priming for static fires that's possibly what they're going to be doing for this next week they have a whole week monday tuesday wednesday and thursday they close down the beach on friday though because on fridays people get to go to the beach it's a thing they have with cameron county spacex and camera county work together and they say it's Let's open up the beaches to everybody because that's what people in Texas want. And that's kind of, I, th I think it's in the, in the state constitution that these things have to be open X amount of days per week. And also in the latest FAA environmental review, they said SpaceX, you have to keep this stuff open for the people to use. So that's why that's open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, they could be doing a spin prime test, which is kind of a pre burner test without ignition. They spin up the turbo pumps, but they don't light anything. There's no static fire with that. They could be doing that as well. And that's kind of what we saw with Booster 7. They were doing those types of tests. They were putting in, um, uh, they were doing a real, like a flow through the booster. And when that happened, there was a giant explosion. That's why Booster 7 is in the bay. Um, they could do real propellants in Ship 24, but no thrust no ignition make sure everything works engines turbo pumps spin up to speed but they don't light it they don't say go and then if all this works out if they get all this stuff done it's possible they're just going to do that a few times this week unfortunately i don't know if they're going to have a static fire we haven't had an overpressure notice quite yet for a static fire so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of this week, possible, very small chance of a static fire, but it possible we get a, we get an igniter test. So basically the things that make the engine start, 
the igniter, the spark that makes it go. We may see one of those this week, and it's a quick poof. It just goes poof, basically. You'll see a little bit of flame, but that's it. So we might see an igniter test, might see a pre-burner test, might see a spin test, a spin prime test, sorry, and some tanking and uh, priming for the upcoming static fires. And those have to happen before this starship, ship 24, gets stacked on either booster 7 or booster 8. And if booster 7 is out, then booster 8 has to do a lot of testing, actually. Uh, it has to do cryo testing. It has to do pressure testing. It has to go through everything that Booster 7 went through. And it also has to have all the Raptors put on it. 33 Raptors installed on Booster 8. So over the weekend and up until this time and possibly all of next week while they're testing ship, they could be doing internal testing of Booster 7 and making the call to either move to Booster 8 or stay with booster seven. And like I said, if booster eight is the thing that they go with, if that's the booster they go with, it's possible that this could be this could be a while before they before they get all this stuff done. And the August time frame may slip a little bit. So what happened with booster seven? Um, it's an anomaly. And the FAA actually stepped up and said, hey, we have no authority over this like this is a test this is an r d vehicle so we're not going to take this into account if we allow them to launch starship so anything that happened with booster 7 is just straight up booster 7 as a test vehicle the fea doesn't really care that much about it i'm sure I, they know about it but they're not gonna hold this against spacex for the launch license which they need as well so if spacex shows that the vehicle is ready and primed and stacked. They also have to do a stack test. So they have to put the ship on top of the booster, either seven or eight, and they have to make sure that it fits properly. And if it fits properly, that's great, but they're probably gonna have to do cryo tests with both the vehicle and the booster at the same time. So that could take some time as well. Elon says August. I think it's going to slip into September. I really do. I really think it's going to slip into September. And I think that there's going to be some time where, I don't know, um, maybe October. I, I, And I'm just doing this because I know the testing schedule from before. And it's possible that we see it happen in August. But that's like a real fast turnaround for this kind of stuff. Because stacking, you know, stacking takes a couple days. And we stack the ship on top of the booster. They're going to have to do fit tests. That takes a couple days. You know, I mean, the stacking itself only takes, you know, half a day. But then they have to make sure it's there properly. Might spend the whole day making sure that it's secure. The next day or overnight, making sure that everything is good. Let it sit for a while. Make sure nothing gets crushed because these things are heavy, you know. And the ship is 150 feet tall. Booster is about 250 feet tall. Altogether, it's around 400 feet tall, and it's a nine meter around, 30 feet around um, tube that has to the the structure of the of the booster has to be able to hold up the ship. So, if that works, which it should, because we've seen them stack ships before, 420 actually the ship four and booster 20 that stacked a few times, and that was amazing. I got to see that on the side of. Uh, highway four but if they can get that ship stacked up and if it all works they're gonna have to do something similar probably another maybe another cryo test just to make sure everything works make sure nothing kind of like shakes loose as they um as they do these quick tests and they could possibly do you know another um tanking and priming getting ready for the launch and then detank it that could take a few days just to just to test it you know what i'm saying just to test the pressure just to test all the all the uh pre-burners and the uh the spin prime test um stuff going on there so that's possible so it could possibly be could possibly be september but i'm i'm hoping for august but i'm guessing october <laughs> so if that makes any sense if that makes any sense to you let me know in the comments below. When do you think this thing's going to launch? And it's getting closer. We're getting really close. So I really want this thing to launch, but I'm guessing it'll be September, October.
so don't hurt me <laughs> because I want this thing to launch too. I want to go back there and watch it. So if you want to help, make sure to leave a comment, make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe to the video. I've been down there for the last nine months and it's amazing. I loved it. So thanks everybody for your support. Let's talk about this next time on the Space News Pod. I'm Will Walden and I'll see you soon.